Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at the new text fill features in Pages, Numbers, and Keynote. You can create text that looks like this now. MacMost is brought to you thanks to an incredible group of supporters. Join us and get exclusive content at MacMost.com slash Patreon. So there are new versions of Pages, Numbers, and Keynote and they have a few new features. One of those across all three apps is the ability to fill text with either a gradient or an image. This is somewhat useful in Pages but I see it as mostly being a big new feature for Keynote where having colorful interesting text is a big plus. So to get these new features you want to make sure you're using version 8.1 of Pages. I've got some sample text here. Now it only makes sense to fill text with a gradient or an image if it's kind of like title text. It doesn't make any sense to do body text with that. So we'll select the title here and I'm actually going to make it a thicker font. So it's nice and thick and we have some area inside the letters that we can fill. You'll see here text color which is what you had before but this is now a little menu and you can go from text color to other options. So let's go to the first one, gradient fill. And as soon as I do that you can see that the text here goes from a light blue at the top to a dark blue at the bottom. And you could see those two colors here. I could select New Colors to change that and change it to whatever I want. I can even click these little color wheel here and change it to any color in the spectrum. You can change the angle so you can have it come from a different angle. You can just have it go straight up and down, left and right, and you could set the angle manually there as well. Another option is to apply the gradient to the whole page. So right now it goes from one color at one side of the text to the other color at the other side of the text. If I apply gradient to the whole page then the one color starts at the left side of the page and the other goes to the right side of the page. Now I'm going to switch to Keynote because I think this stuff makes a lot more sense when you're in Keynote. You have a presentation. You're going to have some big text up on the screen and you want to use the gradient fill for instance to make it really stand out. So it's the same thing here. It's the same stuff on the side. You select text in the sidebar. You've got this menu here. Before it was just plain text color. Now you have gradient fill and you can set the same things. You can also go to advanced gradient fill and this allows you to set more than one color stop. So you have a light blue to dark blue. I can click down here and select another color. So I could say well in the middle I want it to go yellow in the middle there. And that could stand out like that. And I could move these around and even adjust how quickly it goes from one color to the other. So you can do all sorts of interesting things. And you can also go to a radial gradient. So you can see it radiates from the center out. And like before you can apply to the entire object or to just the text inside that object. So if you're putting text inside of a text box uh, it, it, if it goes to the edge of the text box or if it goes to the edge of the text itself. So you have a lot more options under Advanced Gradient Fill. Lots of cool things that you could do. Next we have Image Fill. So you go to Image Fill. It's going to go to this default kind of uh, kind of noise fill here and give you some options. But before we change those options I'm going to go and bring in a different fill here. I'm going to drag and drop a color into here or I could use this Choose button. And what I've done here is I've chosen an image that is a tile. So this is something I downloaded from a clip art site and you could see here it tiles this leaf is from here. So you could tile this as much as you want. This will be useful for all, using all the settings here. So we have scale to fill. So the image goes from left to right all the way across. We can do original size. So it just fits. It's this box in the middle and that leaves out parts of the text. You would use that if you had the image sized exactly like you wanted. Uh, you could stretch it so it stretches horizontally and vertically. It doesn't look good since it's a square image but it's a rectangular uh, piece of text there. You could do scale to fill, scale to fit. So scale to fill is going to make sure that it fills the entire space where scale to fit it's only going to fit it vertically or whatever the smallest dimension is. So you can see I just get this square in the middle since it's a square texture. Tiling allows me to actually have the pattern repeat. So at 100% it's not that exciting but if I can move it down you can see since it's a nice tiled image and the image would have to be created as a tiled image for this to work I can have a nice effect here. Now I can also go and switch from Image Fill to Advanced Image Fill. And what this does is gives me the ability to tint the 
image. So I have these colors and I can tint it. So I'll tint it a green here which works really nice for this pattern. I could go and change how much the tint is by clicking on the color wheel here and not clicking a color but just changing the opacity here. So I can get a nice effect here even if the image isn't the perfect color when it starts. Now in addition to be able to fill the text with an image another new option is you can click here under Advanced Options for the text and there's a checkbox for Outline. That's not new. That was there before. What happens when you check it is new. You check it and now you get some options. So before it just added an outline. You had no options. Now you can actually set the color. So I can set it to be say a dark green in this case. And I can change the size of the outline. So I can make the outline a little bit bigger like that. I can also change the line style. So some things wouldn't make sense like doing the dots here. But this actually creates kind of a nice look using this line style. So you can play around with this to create a nice effect here on the text. And you can see here the result of using an image with an outline. I created something a little bit more unique than just solid colored text. Now you could also use this in conjunction with text styling. So you have styles here. I can click here and add a new paragraph style. So I'll call it uh, green title. And then I can apply that down here. So I can take this subtitle here and I can change it to green title. And you can see it uses the same settings including the fill and the outline. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.